31, we showed you the story about a Colorado mom who says parents should rethink allowing their kids to go on sleepovers. We got a tremendous response on both sides of this issue. Nightside's Natalie Tisdale joins us with a story that is now going national. I think we were all surprised by the reaction we got to this story. It all started with a mom who simply wanted to raise awareness about a potential danger to our kids. But it soon turned into a firestorm of mad parents. <laughs> the slumber party, truth or dare, late night games, pillow fights. One local mom says the fun can continue, but the sleepover needs to stop. We can parties, we can have fun, we can be with friends, spend time. But I always tell my son, you know, but we all sleep in our own beds. Soraya Cartwright talked with us earlier this week, and even before the story aired, the comments poured in through email, on our Facebook page, and on the phone. Many people upset with the idea of halting a tradition that brings back childhood memories. Soraya started a website called nosleepover.com. Her goal is not to ban anything or start any type of movement against the slumber party. It's simply to make parents more aware and more responsible about who their kids spend time with but the emails immediately blasted her idea saying things like this site is stupid and sleepovers are just a part of growing up but our expert on kids and family issues says otherwise oh I would say that you know great that it didn't happen to them but it did happen to some other child someplace else he says putting on blinders is bad parenting. He wants parents to use the story as a springboard. Have you talked with your son and daughter or daughter about uh, sleepovers, about parties, about sexual activities, about consumption of alcohol? Soraya never expected the barrage of comments she got on her website as well. She's appearing on national TV this weekend, Fox and Friends, at 6.30 in the morning on Sunday. She says she wants parents to know, first of all, it's okay to say no to your kids, and secondly, collect as much information as you can before you make any type of family policy. Natalie Tisdall, Fox 31 News. Hi, today